Let me show you how to make multicolored pom-poms. Hey, it's Denise from Lumahead.com and let's get right to it. So the clover is the same on both sides, so you don't have to worry about which side you choose. Just pick one and flip this, I call them hooks, open. Take your two colors of yarn strands and then just start wrapping. I overlap the first loops only so that my yarn is secure and then I start pushing back and then I start wrapping. And by the way, even when I'm doing pom-poms that are only one color, if it's possible for me to have two strands together at the same time, I actually prefer to do that. So wrap, wrap, and push back, and wrap, wrap, and push back. And when you get up to the front, you're gonna notice that um, you can't go any longer and you have to overlap them and if you want your pom-poms to be really really dense then just go over the whole um, hook all over again don't worry about overlapping now I cut it on this side and I like these scissors they're nice and sharp and that's actually what you need then just flip open the other side and do the same thing on both sides so wrap 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 and push back and wrap 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 and push back and keep going until both ends look the same and like I said you could keep wrapping it till it just looks like one big dense area um, the more you wrap the denser your pom-pom so I'm only gonna wrap enough to fill up the hook and then I'm cutting then you're gonna go to the middle portion right here put your scissors lay them right there and snip your yarn and keep going you're going to go all the way around go to the other side do the same thing keep going 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 and then you're going to get a piece of yarn I use twice the size of the pom-pom maker and then you put the yarn through it like this and pull on it and make a nice tight 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 like you're angry at somebody type of knot and I do two knots just because you know I overkill like that flip them open and then you separate your pom-pom maker and put it back together put it away because you know we're neat and then there's your pom-pom now you see mine is not too, too dense because I didn't want to make it that dense. I'm actually going to cut it till it looks like this with my scissors. And you see it's about the size of this outside, but I'm going to cut it down. Um, so I'm going to get my scissors and basically give this little guy a really tight haircut. So keep chipping away until it looks the way you want it like sometimes I have certain projects where I actually want my pom-pom not to be so dense and puffy I need it to have more separation between strands so keep that in mind as you continue to cut because for some of us it's very I don't know therapeutic so we keep cutting and cutting and cutting um, if you want to make it like this where the colors are more solid then put your colors on one at a time, not together, and that's gonna give you a different look. So see, I put my blue one, now I'm gonna put my yellow right over it and do the same actions that I did when I had two strands. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Check out my loom knitting videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe.